Hello everyone and welcome to my sixth tutorial. In this tutorial I will teach you how to make a teleporter. It teleports a player into wherever you want on the map. In my last tutorial I taught you how to make a door that slams shut behind you. Right, now you want to continue, continue your level on. If you haven't already got the place where you want your teleport Texture your walls. Right. You also need to make the destination of your teleport. So for this, I'm just going to create a little room out in my map somewhere. Right, once you've got your room and you've textured it, I'm going to give it one of these textures. Add some carpet in, add the ceiling in. Right. You've got your room all set up. Now what you want to do is you want to create where you want your teleport to happen. So for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to create a little pad that the player just steps on and then gets teleported. a bit of combined metal and a nice little edge there we go for the sake of this tutorial instead of running onto the pad and it teleporting you we're going to need a button so it teleports you when you press the button we've already got a, we've already got a button model here so what you really need to do is hold shift, press X, press the click and drag it and then let go of the click. So you've now got a button there and a button over here. They just need to line up now. Got lined up, create a brush over the top of it, like I taught you in the last tutorial. Then hit enter. Right, we don't need to do anything with that at the moment. Now select your teleporting pad, hold shift and drag above it, then turn to the trigger texture. So click browse, type in trigger, so click trigger texture and then click the apply current texture tool and then you want to extend this to the ceiling 
now you've got the teleporting area what you want to do is you want to hold control press T and then set it to trigger and score teleport start disabled you want yes and then you want to give it a name I want to call it tele01 then you want to go flags and then you want to click clients so it teleports to clients now what you want to do you just want to double click your button you want to click on your button sorry control T and change it to funk underscore button now you want to change the output to add unpressed tele01 enable click apply and now in where you want your player to teleport to create, create a nice little land pad where you want your player to teleport to and you can also use the same textures used before so let's go like this now you want to click on the entity tool then type in teleport and then look for info underscore teleport underscore destination place that where you want your person to teleport to and make sure it's eight off the floor so it doesn't teleport into the ground give teleport double click on the info teleport destination and give it the name of tele01 dest for destination click apply now with that done I want to go back to your teleport double click on it remote destination in the drop down just type just find your destination name mine's tele01 dest then click apply now because the teleport is so instantaneous we want to create a sound type in ambient generic then paste it in front of your person so it's in front of your person like that double click it and give it a name um, I'm going to call it tele01 underscore sound and then source entity name at the bottom you don't need to do because it's in the air but if you're going to make a button make a sound give the proper name and then put the props name in there and then the sound will come from that prop the sound name underneath the name click browse then type in filter tele for teleport and then find a teleport sound that you like Right, I found this K Lab teleport sound. Now we click OK, click Apply. In the flags, you want start silent and is not looped. Now with that in, go back to your trigger teleport. Double click on it. Outputs add. Uh, 
actually the easier way to do that is delete that add another trigger in give it the trigger entity the trigger texture sorry and you want to control T type trigger underscore once then outputs add on trigger set the sound and then you want to click play sound and then fire once only you can have a delay of point ten of a second click apply now I'm going to test that in game and see if it works and add some lights on the other end first though I'll save it, then compile it, and then run it. Now, once your game's loaded, what you want to do is you bring up the console, type your map in, and then mine's tut01. Hit enter. And then run to where your teleporter is and it's all working you can add a flash when you come through and all that sort of stuff it's entirely up to you thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and any comments I would love to hear thank you very much